the dish with thee. That's not really that cold. It's 40 degrees, but damn. It's got like this misty rain. Oh, this rain or dot rain. I don't like the in-between stuff. It's Monday morning. And I need to find my gloves because my wheel is frozen. Freezing. Frozen. I am a, yeah, I'm a wuss when it comes to weather. All right, put the gloves on. These aren't my driving gloves, but well, they'll do. Oh, how's everybody's Monday? Put the lights on because it looks like it's a little bit mucky out. I hate what I can't see. Oh, yeah. Story of my life. Weird sounding tire sitting around. Yeah, here we are the Monday before the week before Thanksgiving. We were talking about Thanksgiving last time on the live. Um, also, I had a collab Let's go up on Saturday with a bunch of other channels. Actually, it was Kim, a girl on her phone, hosted. It's our lightened up Thanksgiving collab. Like things that, you know, we all took a Thanksgiving side that we like, or even. Um, Dumpy did even made a fantastic stuffed turkey breast, which is fabulous. Um, I made like double cranberry sauce for zero points. Yay! Zero point cranberry sauce. I like it. Other than that, I mean, it's all about taking your, you know, how you can tweak things. Now remember, it's Thanksgiving. And, you know, there are just some things you shouldn't mess with. There are some things you shouldn't mess with because they're tradition. And I am a firm believer in that. I will not be, I don't mess with my stuffing recipe. I did mix, mess with the green beans, but I didn't like that green bean casserole anyway. So, didn't mind messing with that. I should have done that one for the collab as well, because that's really, I find very tasty. It's kind of like a riff on the green bean casserole. I call it deconstructed green bean casserole. But maybe, maybe I'll record it on that day. The problem with that is, by the time you see it, it's over. Or is it going live on Thanksgiving when I make my stuffing? I don't know. That could be a little bit strange. I mean, I've never done anything like that, like going live and cooking. And I'm not quite sure. It shouldn't take that long because if I have everything prepped, like the chopping all done, it shouldn't. It's just sautéing. And, and onions, I mean, you'll see the vat of onions and celery I use. It's, it's hilarious. But that's what makes it. And to me... It even makes it lighter when you think about it because it's onions and celery for crying out loud. So yeah, it's it's I'm I'm I'm, toy, I'm toying with the idea of doing a live stuffing. We'll see. I mean, it's a little chaotic when I'm in the kitchen on Thanksgiving, so that's why I'm a little bit scared to do that. <clears throat> but if I have everything else done, usually the turkey's already in the oven. But I do my stuffing on the side. I don't stuff the bird anymore. I stopped doing that. I don't know why. I, I, I get, you know, you get, you get through fads. It was like I was in the fad of the stuffing on the side. Then I was in the fad of the stuffing in the bird. Now I'm back to the stuffing on the side. Well, I think is it saves, it doesn't come as greasy. I do find it's greasy and it's inside the turkey. Plus, it, the turkey has to cook longer. So I am not getting up early <coughs> to stuff my turkey. Just saying. So yeah, so now it's on the side and I, it makes a, like I said, it's a vat of stuff. It lasts us for days and I have all men in my house, so that's a good thing. It fills them up. But yeah, I was thinking, I'm toying with the idea. I'm like, should I go live and do a live stuffing? But the problem is with going live, you, like I said, you obviously can't make it because it's the day of Thanksgiving. But you know, you can make it any other time. It doesn't have to be on Thanksgiving, truly. It's the only time I ever make it though. And then what I do is, um, after I get done, I put it in the pan and I put it in the fridge because it doesn't have to go in until like an hour before. It doesn't have to get heated through and get that much little crust on top. Crust is a must. And I stuff mushroom caps. So after I finish the stuffing, I stuff the mushroom caps. And we do, your mouth waters for it. And I, my husband's already talking about the mushrooms. He goes, oh, I can't wait for the stuffed mushrooms. Why don't you make them any other time? I mean, I could make them any other time, and I just don't. It's Thanksgiving tradition. And we have like a shrimp cocktail in the afternoon. So that's our, you know, our afternoon is shrimp cocktail and 
stuffed mushrooms that holds us to dinner. I usually make this shrimp ahead of time, so they'll already be done. I'll make them the day before, so they're already ready to go. I try to, and I've learned over the years to prep things. Make my cranberry sauce on Tuesday. I get my potatoes, my sweet potatoes or yams, whichever. I mean, I've done either one. I bake them and then I scoop them out and I make the little, you know, mashed, uh, mashed sweet potato with the crumbled pecans and streusel topping. That's all done. Only thing I do that day is I make the streusel topping, put it on top and bake it, but the potatoes are already sitting in the pan. So that's done. I'm gonna have to shred my Brussels sprouts and get those ready to go. And my green beans, which are already blanched. I blanch those ahead of time too. So I just have to throw them in the pan with the butter give them a toss, heat them through, mushrooms and onions get done, it's all good. See, so yeah, I've learned how to paste, and I do not, and I, I know, I'll probably get riffed for this, but I do not make my own gravy. I don't. I'll tell you why. Because when the turkey comes out of the oven, that is when I'm most busiest. So if I have to take the time, and I, I applaud people who do it, I do, because I just can't, I am not multi-talented enough to handle that. <clears throat> to, to get that all together because that's when it's you know you get the turkey yeah you gotta skip yeah no don't have time for that i just don't and it's just easier to open open a jar so yes you heard it here i use jar gravy and i'm proud i am it's you know that's the one thing i do not make i do not make my own rolls either i go to sam's club i love 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 sam's yeast rolls oh they're so good and sometimes I get the regular, sometimes I get the whole wheat. I wish they had the mix, because be, they probably couldn't, because they're, they're having a pain in my leg today. I don't know why. I think it's because I fell last week. The back of my calf is... is I feel like I said like a stiff muscle. I don't know. I was thinking, do you have a blood clot? I don't know. Do you get a blood clot from a fall? I don't know. I, I always thought you had to be opened up to get a blood clot. I don't know. I don't think I have one, though. Um, where was I? The rolls. Yeah, so I don't make my own rolls either. I did one year. Again, it was just too much at that time. So, yeah. So now I get to say I buy the 36 count rolls, the little dinner rolls. Kids love them. I heat them up, though. I do heat them up, and we use real butter on the table. So, yeah, we do do that. Um, sometimes I have a coleslaw. Sometimes I don't. I don't think I will this year. Cranberry sauce which I will make ahead of time. Yeah, so it's um, pretty basic. And it's, like I said, when you make the right things, you don't need a lot of them. And when they're made, and you only make them that time of year. So, and what I'll do is, which I have been doing the last few years since I've been on WW, is I will get a pan of roasted root vegetables, which are usually mushrooms, which isn't a root vegetable, I know. Onions, carrots, Brussels sprouts, squash, butter not usually, sometimes acorn depends on what I have, and that might be it. I don't think I have any turnips or parsnips, I don't think so. I might. Depends on what I buy. And I just roast them. <coughs> sometimes cauliflower, if I can find it. Cheap. And I'll roast them with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and then I put that on my plate first. So my plate is just full of delicious zero point vegetables. And then I look, yep, and I put my zero point turkey. Like I was saying last night, girl, people, turkey zero points if you have the white meat. So yeah, I have my zero point. And I always was a white meat person anyway. I don't really care for the dark. Um, so I put my, then I put my serving of stuffing. Yeah. I don't eat the sweet potatoes only because I'm not a big sweet potato person. I don't dislike it. It's not something I like. I mean, I like, I just don't, I don't know, I don't desire it. I really don't. So I kind of. I might have a spoonful just to taste it, but I really don't worry about those. Um, I do have my homemade Brussels sprouts. Yes. Uh, my kids eat Brussels sprouts. How did you eat your kids eat Brussels sprouts? Thank you for asking. Yeah. I shred them. Cut them really thin like, I mean, with like a coleslaw. If you're making coleslaw. And they're all, you get a little nubby end off and you just slice them real, real thin. And I have them in a bowl and then I get... Depending on how many Brussels sprouts I use. Now, I've got the big bag at Sam's, so that's like four pounds sometimes. So it depends. Sometimes I'll, I'll only do a few, but if, we'll just say for all, it's just a couple pounds. So I'll use a stick of butter. Yeah, it's regular unsalted butter. 
let that melt, then I throw the Brussels sprouts in there, and they saute till they're tender, which doesn't take too, too long, because they're thin, and a little salt, and a little pepper, and that's all there is to it, and my goodness, they're good. <laughs> I don't know what the slicing and sauteing does to them, but they are the best Brussels sprouts you'll ever eat. And people, I have converted people. I'd bring them to a part, like a Thanksgiving when we'd have Thanksgiving out. And I'd bring them, and what's this? It's Brussels sprouts. Oh my, I, have, I hate Brussels sprouts, but these are the best Brussels I don't know. I watched the Two Hot Tamales, Mary Sue Milliken and Susan Feniger, many, many years ago, probably like in the early 1990s, make them. And I thought, I love Brussels sprouts anyway, anyway. So I thought, I gotta make them like that. And oh my goodness, they're good. And now I've even gotten a little fancy. Sometimes I'll just saute some pancetta. Yeah, we're bacon. Because why not? Yes, they are fantastic. Just cut back on the salt. But oh, my, they're just good. And my boys scarf them down. I can make four pounds and I guarantee you there's hardly any left. I know. I know. Strangest thing ever. So they're already requesting, Mom, you're making the Brussels sprouts again, aren't you? I'm like, of course I'm making the Brussels sprouts. Just trying to find them. But I think like I said, Sam's Club always has a nice big bag. So I know. My kids like Brussels sprouts. I, think it's, I always buy two bags when I go because I'll make it twice that week. I know. But yeah, that's what's on my table usually. And like I said, if, if I can go live and not be too chaotic, maybe I'll try because people running in the boys running in and out it's a crazy day there's football it's just nuts parades on you know I don't know I don't want to be running in and out of the room and that would just be like crazy but I think it'd be fun you know if I could just stick myself in one spot and get the stuffing done and I use the pepperidge farm cubes so yeah I don't um no I don't do the fresh bread and dry it out the seasoned cubes mind you it's usually a bag of seasoned and a bag of the sage and onion it gave it all the flavor, I'm telling you. And I put my little bag of giblets that I get in the turkey and I put the neck into a pot and I boil it. So it's all makes a nice little turkey stock. And yeah, I put all that stuff in my stuffing. The heart goes in there, the gizzards go in there, and the liver goes in there. And so if I can get some neck out of there, that goes in there too. Waste not, want not. I'm telling you, it's, it's all good. Nobody knows it's there. Everybody loves it. And I waste nothing. So yeah. We'll see. We'll see how I don't know. Like I guess I did I'm I'm toying with the idea. So let me know what you think in the comment section below if you think that's something you'd like. I can see what I can do, but it might be a little bit crazy. Alright guys, I am at work. I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And you know, leave me a comment. And thanks for showing up for Tea with D every Sunday night. We have a great time. There was like over 50 of us last night. It was a little bit crazy, but I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Everybody shares different stuff. It's really, really, if you've never been there, you got to come here to the channel. Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time for Tea with D. It's a live interactive weight loss chat. You guys chat. I talk. We share stuff. We share victories. We share our gains. We share it all. So come join us. We'd love to have you. And remember... Share Dish with Dee on social media. She needs to get to 2,500 subscribers. She's going to have a 2,500 subscriber giveaway. I know. And she's almost there. So, if you know anybody, share me, share me, share me. Let's go viral, people. Let's go viral, people. What do you say? All right. Have a great day. I will dish another day.